Hi guys, I'm Ilana and I'm from um, Kista Architects. I'm going to be presenting our bridge house. So I'd like to just minimise us. Great. Um, so this is our bridge house. It's a house that was located in Modernist Caulfield. Um, really exciting project for us because we love these kinds of houses and the clients were just fantastic, really open and excited. Um, so we began on a site in Caulfield. It was um, a very large site, but the house took up most of the property and it was quite dark, had a Western garden, which was fantastic. Um, and the original structure was a 1970s double storey split level, but clearly it needed some love and a bit of reimagining. So this project had a pretty interesting beginning. Um, the client's brief was for an extension to the second level. All they wanted really was a second, um, a new main wing and a kid's space. They had a family of three and they had a baby on the way. So the brief was for a contemporary home that referenced its modernist beginnings with a usable fun garden. So we designed, documented and went to tender on this brief. And then we had a bit of a hiccup. The clients actually purchased the site um, to the south and were super excited and wanted to redesign um, the entire house. So that's what we did. This is the new house on the other site on the south. So unfortunately, um, they didn't want to work on this house and they didn't want to rip it all down and start new. They loved the original kind of vibe of the retro northern site. So we had to rethink the entire site and uh, really consider what was the best option here. So the original house had um, stairs up at the entry, stairs down to the garden at the back, and it really sat propped up over the site. And we really needed the house to sort of sit and, and rest in the landscape and engage with it way more than it did at the moment. Um, we loved the curved entry and the big oculus skylight, but it was sort of half-baked and it had already been renovated a couple of times. Um, generally, the plan just didn't work for the client's lifestyle and proved difficult to occupy and definitely very difficult to furnish. Um, there was always a big confusion as to where you enter, whether you go through the kitchen or the lounge room, and it just did not work. So we wanted to make the most of the site um, within the constraints of the original siting and form. So our answer to this house that was sitting on the wrong site was to stretch the new program over onto the south site and keep a single level extension. We decided to retain the main double storey element. Um, and remove the rear living rooms. We basically demolished about 150 square metres and built 250 new. Uh, for the addition of 100 square metres, we designed unique spaces that immersed into the garden um, and allowed light to penetrate through deeply into the house, which you can see all the yellow is where the windows are. We reworked the entertaining zones, which needed to be linked to the landscape and just have a better flow in general. The brief was focused on keeping the original modernist vibe, but bring a contemporary twist the clients requested something fun but modest, something colourful with lots of texture, but also minimal with a sense of sparseness. So our primary concern with all those juxtapositions was to maintain a continuous connection to nature and light. We grabbed light from all sides of the house and used it to split open the house and create courtyard feels. The double foyer was reinstated. The entry breaks up the private from the public spaces and the zones are clearly defined by material finishes. The entertaining zone is needed to cater for dinner parties and parties of 20 plus seated people, but they really wanted lots of flexibility so the family could come together and also have separation. The living room was sunken so that we could create a cosy space and embed that right into the garden. The, the um, All the entertaining zones were split and the services were tucked in behind um, the entertaining zones. The front room was extended um, and became the kids zone. There was a new breezeway created to separate the main retreat um, and the master wing from the rest of the house. Uh, but all the areas um, are connected to the landscape in different ways um, and have different aspects. We worked really closely with Acre Landscapers to design through the design phase to ensure we had integrated vision for the expanded site. There are architectural landscape walls responding to the new form that embedded um, into the landscape and separated all the different zones from each other. We've got an in-ground trampoline, basketball, tennis zone, 
a pool, entertaining area, fire pit, veggie patch, and a hidden meandering path behind the pool. The upper level we kept as is. We basically reworked all the wet areas to create a, um, a nice retreat for the kids upstairs. And the purple on the facade shows all the elements that were kept, uh, all the white and black and new. So here we come to the original facade. We absolutely loved and thought this was the best bit of the whole house, this kind of concrete detail on the facade. So our primary response was to stretch this detail away from the original building to form a skin to the master retreat. This worked um, to link the old and the new, creating a cohesive form um, and this skin wraps and creates privacy for the master area. The wing is accessed by a glass bridge at ground level. These images show the inserted courtyard between the original and the new fabric. It allows each space to be enveloped by nature um, and the arch element repl replicates the bridge connection. This is the bridge. It separates the private and the public zones. Um, it's a moment of Zen and it is immersed in nature. The breezeway terminates in a workspace, which is an excellent pacing opportunity for home working. This curved shroud, um, the element that conceals the main bed from the neighbour's view maintains connection to light. Um, the corner bedroom opens up with a bench seat, uh, which sits flush with the planting. So we focused on blurring the distinction between the existing and the new structure. This strategy created a unified architectural story. The original undercroft was transformed to create an inviting light entry. Custom glazing was created to replace elements broken during construction. We demolished the original elevated entry and created a new ground level light filled foyer behind the original arches. One we minute remaining. Um, we wanted to um, retain the circular foyer, which we did, and um, that opened up into a timber light filled space. We used white on white concrete, um, that worked in with the original terrazzo and blue plush carpet as well. Um, we dotted the spaces with um, lots and lots of skylights because we need light into every space. We used um, lots of sustainable principles, solar panels, solar hot water, solar pool heating, extensive insulation and double glazing external motorised blinds, integrated floor heating, tons of storm water collection, 21,000 litres to flush the toilet and integrate into the landscape. We modified the cladding materials to um, achieve a concrete look and feel without the environmental footprint. The general feedback is that people can't really remember what the house originally looked like. They can't work out what is old and new, but they love the contemporary vibe um, and the retro feel and the seamlessness of the home in the landscape. 